morning and welcome to my Tuesday. Oh my goodness gracious me, what a start to the day I had. Well, the start to the day kind of started last night at the gig. I checked my email in the interval. I didn't mention it in the vlog. <laughs> if I didn't film much, this is why. Yeah, I'm organising a gig for the coming weekend. And let's just say COVID happened and I had to have a last minute change of personnel and find somebody else to fill a role at very short notice so i've been on the phone this morning <laughs> phoning friends <laughs> no phoning through the list of uh, people yeah got somebody i am so so grateful really short notice for booking people but anyway it's sorted now so i'm going to reward myself with coffee and breakfast it's about five past twelve now we're going in about ten minutes i'm feeling quite calm but um my head is still racing from all that problem <laughs> I feel like I need some decompression time. Normally, like when I'm getting ready, I'll put on like something to listen to or something. But I was like, no, I need I need quiet <laughs> today. My head is quite full enough already of stuff. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm just going to put a couple of drinks, a couple of snacks in the bag. We've had breakfast before leaving today because it's a later appointment. We're going to get there quite early because if we got the next bus, it would be due to arrive five minutes before the start of the appointment. And the buses are always late so I thought we'll be late if we get that one so we'll have to get the earlier one and we'll be there about 40 minutes early if it's on time <laughs> we'll see how that goes anyway it, did I tell you what it's for did I even tell you we had an appointment I don't know if I did it's the orthodontics appointment for Izzy she got referred absolutely ages ago then the pandemic struck and nothing happened for ages and now it seems like her and her friends are getting their orthodontics referrals coming through just all at once so yeah that's today we don't know if she's going to need a brace or not she's got like wonky bottom teeth but the top set look all right to me she has said she doesn't want braces on the top because she's perfectly happy with them she's been researching colors and <laughs> she said that you need cooler tones of your brace elastics because if you get warmer tones it makes your teeth look yellow by comparison so yeah she's been reading up on it oh, she's coming out of the bathroom we'll be going soon anyway we're waiting for the bus to go that's a lovely day i've realized just now i've accidentally left my flute in my bag in the front pocket which means i'm gonna have to treat this rucksack like the flipping crown jewels all day bus is six minutes late and we had a five minute connection time so it looks like we'll be getting that later bus and running in huffing and puffing <laughs> We're in the bus station, we got a plan. There was another route I looked up on the Stagecoach app and we've discovered about the number three. It leaves one minute earlier than the one that Google Maps suggested we got, but it gets to the hospital earlier, so we actually won't be cutting it so fine that we have to literally run in <laughs> and risk being late. So yeah, so we've got 10 minutes to just chill out here. We just stepped out, so this bit's like, it's a bit more fresh airy, this particular bit. So that's why we're waiting here having our drink. And then we'll just saunter in in a relaxed way. Izzy's just pointed out that it's just waiting over there, ready to come over. It's going to come here and then we'll go in through that door there. There was a poster there about becoming bilingual in Merthyr Tydfil. Look, about sending your children to a Welsh medium school and Mythrin. Mythrin's the nursery. There are 81% of pupils in Welsh primary schools in Merthyr Tydfil come from non-Welsh speaking homes. <laughs> Izzy's fighting behind me because she doesn't want to be in shot. Yeah, going in a few minutes. Just waiting in the station to go. We've arrived, we're in good time, we've got 35 minutes, so we're gonna finish these off because we haven't yet. There's a load of work going on outside the hospital, it's been going on for ages. Diggers and dumper trucks and all sorts. The appointment's over, we're actually doing something we haven't done in forever, which is have lunch in the canteen. It appears to be open. <laughs> we were like really dubious going in, but we might get chucked out because it might be just for staff, but there didn't seem to be any signs saying not to. And we were almost about to turn back when we saw there were only staff in here and a workman said, no, no, you can, you can. So we have, I've got lasagna and mash. We're waiting for the bus home now. That was really pleasant. It was quite inexpensive because I had the cunning trick of having tap water instead of drinks and it kept the price down it was actually under six pound for us both to have an enormous meal you couldn't even finish yours could you she had an enormous mountain of pulled pork and peas and chips anyway we're we've satisfied now but we're going to go back to Merthyr bus station and then we're going to just have a little stroll around the town because he wants to wear some hair clips don't you little particular ones for her outfit tomorrow 
and then they're going home. There are two great big helicopters going past like with double propellers, you know, front and back. It reminds me of the BFG when they're taking the giants to the palace. And the buses come in, so we need to get on it. People make no speak English there, no. but a lot of people who are all in Sit at the back. I like sitting at the back. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> we haven't been there for ages. That's where Kavartha Castle is up there, up the hill. They've got a big collection of ancient Egyptian stuff. Nice and breezy and airy here. <laughs> Very pleasant, nice and warm. Look, 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 they got a big top. There's a circus. I know, I did Oh, did you? Thank you. I know the way to the shopping centre, it's out the back. Going here. I've been here for ages. There's a shoe zone, Bon Marche, Iceland, Holland and Barrett, Cancer Research, I'm just past the Trespass, you know, outdoor clothing. What's this? It's the jewellers, travel agents. We're popping in the charity shop for a quick look. £3 for dresses. I would have uh, worn that when I was younger, but I've kind of gone through that phase now. <laughs> I'm supposed to be buying shirts for my Kaylee band. Well, these are two pounds. Yeah, I'm busy over there. Not quite. I was contemplating that one, but as he says, Mum, that is not smart, that is casual. You can't get that one. I might get this one. I mean, it's not that I'm like keen on anything, but it is a shirt. It's an upgrade from a t-shirt. It's two pounds, it's not, you know, it's not gonna break the bank. I don't think that's an actual shirt. There are no buttons on it. Oh, a Minecraft coat. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's supposed to be Minecraft. I just went to have a little aside with the lady next to me and I realised it was a mirror. It was me. <laughs> I'm not going to get that coat. I was just looking at it. Looks, um, yeah, it looks alright though. We've been rummaging through the bags. I'm beginning to think that charity shop shopping is the way to go. So good for so many reasons. Ooh, <laughs> three pound for that one. Shoes. Hey, you might be able to get some white. Hey, is he? White trainers you needed for that thing. <laughs> Not your. No, there are seven. They're too big. Oh, doggies on that one. Pugs. We've got loads and loads of these plain black T-shirts. It's just for two pound each. Those are little little kid ones aged 10 to 11 and they got really big ones so none for me and they've got long sleeved ones as well also two pound what a bargain oh i like these i'd quite like to kit out my kitchen with all retro crockery but i don't need any more you know i've got enough of everything the only problem is i'm so greedy for tea that's only half big enough for me that cup so it's no good i need a nice big mug <laughs> Well, we've got a top each, haven't we? She's got a jumper for her night out thingy she's got to do. And she's got a board game as well. Oh, gone dark, sorry. Apologies. There's a pound land, we found it. That's what Izzy's after. Oh, there's a boxer statue. Savers. Yes, I did remember there was a pound land. It's a big one, goes right around the corner. I'm wondering if I should just accept fate and get a basket, but I'm not really actually intending to buy anything. Oh. I'm gonna get a basket. I'm gonna buy a selection of things for presents for somebody, so I'm not gonna film it. Need some toothpaste. 75p for just normal Oral-B. That's Izzy's favorite. Oh yes, see I wasn't even properly intending to go shopping today. But batteries for my scales, I'm not even sure which one it is, but it'll be one of these. That's £1.50. Hopefully that's a better make than the last one I had, because it just didn't last five minutes. I do need washing up liquids, but 
I'm a bit far from home here, so I will get that nearer to home. I don't want to carry it. It's a big pound land. Boys clothing, quite a lot of it. Oh, look at that. Sorry, I'm going gooey. I wish they had that in my size. I don't think they will though. I like the way the dinosaurs are randomly included with the non-extinct animals. Girl section. We're gonna pay and go. We've got a few minutes to wait till our bus, so we've come into another charity shop. This is the Marie Curie one. Very colourful there. Next bus is about 25 minutes. We're heading in that direction now. just got home it's 10 past six the whole day almost it's gone uh didn't really plan to have lunch in the canteen didn't plan to have a shopping spree after the thing is i've barely seen my daughter all this academic year because she's mostly been camped out at my dad's and so it's just been so nice to have her around that any opportunity comes up to just have lunch together or just do a bit of something together that she's actually interested in i'm kind of in there <laughs> if i can so that's why i just sort of spontaneously ditched on where the plans and did that i'm shattered now you probably want to know about the orthodontist well they had a good old look and they concluded her bottom tooth are wonky but her top row are perfectly fine which is what we thought before we went in they said that the kind of work they do there is for more severe problems and that she wasn't considered severe enough they said she may wish to consider having it done via another means, a non-hospital orthodontist, so she'll have to get a referral from her dentist for that. Or she may choose not to, but they did say probably the procedure will involve removing some, well, perfectly healthy teeth in order to reduce the overcrowding and then straighten them up. So Izzy does not want that. And I said, well, no, it's, it's your decision. You know, you do what you feel you want to. I had six out when I was a kid. I have 24 teeth because I never ever got any wisdom teeth and I had six pulled. So they're not straight anymore either. But I think that's because of all the flute playing and the pressure against my bottom row of teeth for, you know, decades. And I used to practice for hours every day when I was young and still growing post brace. They did say they might be able to do it without pulling teeth. So I think probably Izzy would go for that option, but she doesn't want to have her teeth pulled out. And I kind of, my, I feel like it would be a horrible thing to have for my child. <laughs> to have done to it. it just feels so brutal <sighs> they're not a problem does it really matter it, like people don't generally tend to see your bottom row anywhere near as much as your top row i think i'd better research and find out if it matters when in her life she has it done because if she could just defer that decision and then choose to pay to have it done privately later in her life then i think I think I'd be quite happy to go for that rather than all cram it in quick before she's 18 so we can get it on the NHS, you know, if it involves pulling teeth out. I don't know. It's not feeling like the right option in my heart of hearts to go that way, I've got to be honest. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I'm exhausted. I had a late night last night because of the Kaylee and then I got up early to sort that personnel issue out. I haven't done any of the jobs I was going to do related to that gig today, but I'm probably not going to now. I'll probably do them in the morning but i am going to say goodbye to you now for now and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching bye